Very like a whale by Ogden Nash. Long ish. Let's see what long ish means. Oh, it's only one page. We're good. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, interesting. Hey, Katie. By the time I get to the end of the night, I can barely talk. One thing that literature would, would be greatly the better for would be a more restricted employment of, by the authors of simile and metaphor. Blah. Authors of all races, be they Greeks, Romans, Teutons, 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 or Celts, can't seem to... It seem just to say that anything is the thing it is, but have to go out of their way to say that it is like something else. What does it mean when we were, are told that the Assyrian came down like a wolf on the fold? In the first place, George Gordon Byron had enough experience to know that it probably ju wasn't just one Assyrian. It was a lot of Assyrians. However, as too many arguments are apt to induce a apoplexy and thus hinder longevity, We'll let it pass as one Assyrian for the sake of brevity. <laughs> now then, this particular Assyrian, the one whose cohorts were gleaming in purple and gold, just what does the poet mean when he says he came down like a wolf on the fold? In heaven and earth, more than is dreamed of in our philosophy, there are many great things, but I don't imagine that among them there is a wolf with, pure, with purple and gold cohorts or purple and gold anythings. No, no, Lord Byron, before I'll believe that this... This, that this Assyrian was actually like a wolf, I must have some kind of proof. Did he run on all fours, and did he have a hairy tail and a big red mouth, and big white teeth, and did he say woof woof? That has to rhyme with proof. Frankly, I think it is very unlikely, and all you were entitled to say at the most was that the Assyrian cohorts came down like a lot of Assyrian cohorts about to destroy the Hebrew host. These are very long sentences. But that wasn't fancy enough for Lord Byron. Oh dear me, no. He had to invent a lot of figures of speech and then interpolate them. With the result that whatever you mention Old Testament soldiers to people they say, Oh yes, they're the ones that a lot of wolves dressed up in gold and purple ate them. That's the kind of thing that's being done all the time by poets from Homer to Tennyson. They're always comparing ladies to lilies and veal to venison. And they always say things like that the snow is a white blanket after a winter storm. Oh, it is. It is. All right, then. You sleep under a six-inch blanket of snow, and I'll sleep under a half-inch blanket of un unpoetical blanket material, and we'll see which one keeps warm. And after that, maybe you'll begin to comprehend dimly what I mean by too much metaphor and simile. <laughs> Wow. That, is, that was a lot of words. Thank you, Nissa. I feel like if it was set to a beat, it would be easier to... It's got a beat, but then some, all of a sudden you start getting the beat, and then all of a sudden it goes to a sentence that's like a mile long. Like right at the beginning, it's nice, where it's one thing that literature would be greatly the better for would be the restricted, restricted employment of by the author. See, there's extra by the author's... If it could just cut out by the authors, it's one thing that literature would be, be greatly the better for would be the restricted employment by authors of simile and metaphor. I wish you could just get rid of the authors and then the, the, the number of beats and the sentences would be better matching. Blech. Oh well. Maybe that's why uh, this person's a famous poet and I'm an internet asshole. So many words. Some like this in heaven and earth more more than is dreamed of in our philosophy. There are great many things. Okay, that's one. And then it, but he rhymes things with things. Well, I mean, essentially things with any things. But still things. Yeah. Okay. I'm not gonna argue with the poem. Just could call it a night. I'll be back on Thursday. Uh, that's the wrong keyboard. Uh, let's take a look here real quick. Thank you, Doc. Aw, oh, thank you. Thanks for being here. I can 
schedules real quick. Um, yes, Thursday I'm good. Hmm. I guess I'm not leaving Saturday. Maybe I'll do, um, since I'll be out next Tuesday. Thank you, Wolfstar on Bro. Uh, it looks like uh, we're leaving Sunday, I guess. So maybe I'll do a bonus stream either Friday or Saturday to make up for next week. Probably not both, though. Um, all right. Thank you, everybody, for joining me. Um, then on beating Super Mario and then playing another old game that I used to love. So cool to do both. Hope you all have a, a great couple days. I'll be back Thursday. Hi, everybody.